In this video, we'll see what is an angle, what are collinear points, and what is a triangle. Just the basic definition of these three. So first, we'll see what is an angle. Now, an angle is made up of two rays with a common end point. So let's say this is a ray A B ray AB and this is the ray AC now if these two rays have a common end point then there will be an angle and we write it as angle A or angle BAC or angle CAB or let's say if I give it a number 1 so I can write it as angle 1 now next is collinear points now if I take some points let's say These are three points A, B, C and if I can draw a line which is touching all these three points then those three points are collinear points. Now let's say I took these points. Now there is no way I can draw a line which can touch these three points. A single line. So either I can draw a line like that or like that or like that. And any two points are collinear because we can draw a line joining those two points. And the points which are not collinear are, are called non-collinear points. Let's say this is D, E and F. So D E F are non collinear points and here A B C are collinear points now our next definition is what's a triangle Now, if I join any three non-collinear points, you can see it over here. Let's take some, let's take three non-collinear points, A, B, C. If I join these three points, I'll get a triangle. And a triangle has three angles and three line segments I'll write a triangle has three line segments and three angles let's say I'm considering this angle B so I can assume that this is a ray and this is the common endpoint B then this will be the angle B or A, B, C and likewise these two angles as the measurement of the angle from here or from here or from here it will be same so I can assume that this line segment is extended far from this direction and this line segment is extended far infinitely from this direction then this is an angle we don't need to draw it every time but we assume that these are rays and 
this is an angle.